Okay, during week three, one of the major assignments is an annotated bibliography. So I'm going to spend a little time talking about an annotated bibliography, how to put this S or how to put this assignment together. And I want to stress that an annotated bibliography is absolutely about paying attention to details. So it's really the details uh, that you'll need to have in place to help achieve the grade that you desire. Uh, and I'm going to talk about those details very quickly. Uh, they're important. Everything's important. This is really where you uh, are able to demonstrate your ability to use MLA documentation and really hone those skills a little bit. Uh, so let's look at the assignment, the annotated bibliography. So the annotated bibliography can be found under writing assignments. And like all the other assignments, there is a very specific description. And you'll notice that with the annotated bibliography in this case, that there are also several other documents that are contained right along with it. So you want to look at these documents. I'll talk about what those are. Uh, so the documents are this, and I think probably the best place to start when dealing with this, the annotated bibliography and the research essay go hand in hand. You'll notice that in both sections there are topics. It's the same list. So if you open the list, I think the first thing to do is to find a topic. And I have a list of a very broad topics. You'll have to narrow these topics down just a little bit. Uh, and I'll show you how to do that as well in just a second. Uh, but let's look at the list of topics first. My computer is running very slow today. really slow. Okay, here we go. So our list of topics are topics that loosely have something to do with post-apocalyptic themes. Uh, it's kind of a, a step up from what we were dealing with when we read the novel The Road. And so you can see that these are very broad topics that you can choose from. Uh, agriculture and food supply, nuclear weapons and arms control. These are contemporary topics. Um, the right to die, that's a really popular one. Space exploration, stem cell research and cloning, medical ethics. So, you know, pick a topic, find something that uh, you should hopefully have some interest in and then this is what I would suggest go to the Angelina College library database and go into the database the particular database titled issues and controversies and look up your particular topic and begin to read about it you'll see that there are already many debates about each of these topics so the idea is to hone in on one of those debates form an opinion, create a thesis statement, and then write an essay that supports your uh, argument. So um, let's look at what that annotated bibliography will look like, this final project. So once you have um, once you have taken the time to find a topic and you've read a little bit about it, it's time to begin to do research and to put together your annotated bibliography. One thing I want to stress is that these are, these are contemporary topics. They sometimes are complex topics. So you have to read. You have to go, for instance, into issues and controversies and spend a little time reading about your topic. You must write from an an informed standpoint. If you write from a standpoint that's based off loose knowledge or things you know off the top of your head, this essay is not going to come together like it's intended to. So I want to make sure that you take the time, I cannot stress this enough, go to the database, look up your topic and issues and controversies, and when you open that topic, spend time reading the background information. Read it all. The more informed you are of this topic, the easier it will be for you to deal with from the standpoint of writing the essay. Okay, so an example annotated bibliography looks like this. It's also contained in there.
well, sorry. This is not the example. This is the actual assignment sheet. I'll talk about that and then I'll look at the example, the other documents, the example. So in this assignment sheet, you'll create an annotated bibliography as part of your research plan. So this is the first step of your research plan that informs the final essay. Topic and purpose perspective. So the first section is to write a statement about a topic you have chosen for your research. The topic must be approved by instructor. I've already improved the topics that I've given you. Additionally, discuss the purpose of your topic, explain why the topic is of interest to you, and include what real difference it would make for you and your reader to find out more about your topic. Then you're going to present a working thesis and then an annotated bibliography. That's the bulk of this the bulk of this project and of this document. For your working bibliography, create complete citations in MLA format for 10 sources from a variety of credible appropriate publications. So you can't just give me all internet sources. You have to give me a variety. You can get a variety by using the Angelina College databases. Include a complete summary of the information that will be provided by each source. So you're going to write a summary, much like we've been doing all along with the labs. The same process, write a summary, and then also identify what evidence of credibility each source has. In other words, how valuable is that source to your research? So the, the, the basic idea here is to create the full bibliographic citation and then a summary of your article where in that summary you comment on or discuss how useful or relevant that article is to your particular research. You have to comment on each one. An annotated bibliography has commentary. Uh, it helps you keep your research organized. And so I'm going to talk about what that looks like in just a second. So in this part of the project, you're going to deliver one research propo proposal, including the topic and purpose, a working thesis, and the annotated bibliography all in a very specific format. You can see that your course textbook is a great source for MLA. The Angelina College Library, where you get your research, uh, is also an important source. Issues and controversies, that's the database, uh, and also opposing viewpoints and uh, controversies. Um, those two databases, uh, issues and controversies and opposing viewpoints are great places to get background information on your topic. So that is the assignment. Make sure you're clear on the assignment sheet. Please make sure that you include all 10 sources and summaries. If you don't give me at least 10 sources, that uh, falls under the category of an incomplete assignment and it will be subject to uh, an incomplete assignment grade. Uh, as it's documented on my student grading agreement. So make sure you give me everything that I'm asking for uh, and do it uh, in, in such a way uh, that um, you fulfill the assignment's requirements. Okay, so let's look at this thing. Here's an example. And it's also a Word document, which is an important detail. And I'll explain why in just a second. To make this a little bit easier and quicker, I've given you a Word document that literally is a um, template for the whole assignment. So, for instance, you're going to put your name here, you're going to put the instructor's name here, the course name, the date, uh, in section one this is your proposal, you'll have your last name and your page number up here, section two is your thesis statement, and section three contains each annotation, each full uh, documented MLA style citation uh, with the summary and annotation. So I'll talk about that bit by bit. So this is a hypothetical example. Like I said, it's a template. You can use it to fill in your information. Just make sure you follow the patterns. Don't change anything. So in the, the proposal, Again, this is a hypothetical situation. I say this paper will explore the recent treatment and con contractions of the Ebola virus by health professionals in the United States while demonstrating a need to increase training and awareness if the healthcare infrastructure in the United States is going to be able to effectively isolate and treat future cases. At the present time, research will suggest that most, if not all, healthcare facilities are ill prepared for, to deal with emerging diseases like Ebola. 
consequently placing healthcare workers and the general public at risk of unnecessary exposure. And then you want to state where the research is going to come from. In this case, research will consist of current press releases, news articles, and information from the Angelina College Library and database. Additionally, some information will be acquired from personal interviews conducted over various social media outlets. And so when I was dealing with this paper, I had the ability and contacts to do some interviews uh, for this particular topic. You may not have that, so you wouldn't include that there, but include where you get your research. And then the next section is your thesis. That's a clearly, it's a single statement. It's a clearly developed, arguable thesis. If the thesis is truly arguable, uh, then it will be a single statement and there will be the possibility of a counter argument. So this is an arguable thesis. The public health infrastructure in the United States is ill prepared for the effective treatment of patients with emerging diseases such as the Ebola virus. And I'm going to argue that that's the case. And paragraph by paragraph, I'm going to prove to the reader uh, through research and examples uh, demonstrating that this is the issue. So. Uh, then the next section is the annotated bibliography. This is the meat of the project here. So you'll have a complete citation with the hanging indention, just like we've been doing in MLA 8 format. I want to point something out. Um, I have not changed this document from MLA 7. So unfortunately, this is an MLA 7 citation. Do not use MLA 7 citations. Use MLA 8 citations. Uh, and make sure that you've done those effectively. I've already shown you some tools for creating those, so it shouldn't be too difficult. Make sure everything's double spaced, 12 point type, Times New Roman. And then you can see um, you indent here and create uh, a full summary and annotation. So uh, this basically has two parts. You're going to summarize and then you're going to talk about how useful or effective this will be for your research. So this article, uh, this article examines a long-reaching impact of emerging diseases, particularly the Ebola virus, and its lasting economic impact on tourism industry in parts of Africa. As of 2014, research suggested the overall economic impact for most of the foreign tourism markets in Africa have had little uh, repercussions in the aftermath of the 2014 Ebola outbreak. Only certain regions of Africa have been hit economically because of the fear of contracting the disease. This article contains, and so here's my annotation, this article contains many useful statistics showing the financial impact of the Ebola virus on various effect areas of East and Central Africa. So you have to comment on each article. Summarize, comment. Next, next entry uh, where you create your full um, your full citation and then again rinse and repeat summarize and then comment okay so a couple of other things to keep in mind remember 12 point type times new roman everything's double spaced follow my format and you can see that this is an mla 7 citation use mla 8 please i will count off for mla 7 citations um, the other thing is that once you have all your research, you will present these in alphabetical order. So this uh, E comes before L. So you will present each of these in alphabetical order as they appear on the page, and you will have 10. So uh, that must include 10 sources uh, that are relevant to your research. They need to be relevant to your research. So to, to summarize, You'll have a proposal that explains the purpose of your paper and the intent of your paper, also where you get your research. You'll have a thesis statement, which, which is a single, clear, arguable statement about your topic. Uh, then you'll have the annotated bibliography section where you have 10 full citations that include a brief summary and commentary on whatever research and how effective or useful it will be for your essay. Uh, these will be listed in alphabetical order, and like I said, there must be 10. So that's basically what an annotated bibliography is. You can look up additional information 
on Google if you want additional information about how to construct this thing, but I do want to remind you that this is a Word document, so you can open it right up and use it as a template. Don't change my formatting. Follow the formatting. Just make sure that you use correct MLA citations, MLA citations, as you move through the document. If you have any questions, of course, you can email me. Good luck with your annotated bibliography.